New agony of a man left disabled after he tried to kill himself. He can't get out of his house. It's really frustrating because as I'm, I'm 21. I want to get out there, I want to live my life, you know, but this curb is stopping me from doing that. Well, other news now, and uh, James Cull tried to kill himself by throwing himself off the top floor of a multi-storey car park. He survived, but broke his back, and he's now living in, he's now in a wheelchair. Despite that, he's trying to live an independent life, but he can't. The reason he can't get out of his house without a dropped curb on the pavement. He asked his county council nine months ago to help him out, and he's still waiting to be assessed. Meanwhile, he's living his life more or less indoors. Kath Mackey's been to meet him. James Cull's home in Redditch has been adapted for him because he's likely to spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Last year, suffering from depression, he tried to kill himself. I climbed to the top of a multi-storey car park and actually jumped off the top. A tree saved his life, but broke his back. His emotional problems behind him, the hurdle he now has to overcome is more tangible. It's this curb behind his house. I'm 21. I want to get out there, I want to live my life, you know, but... This curb is stopping me from doing that. He says he asked Worcestershire County Council nine months ago for a drop curb to make access easier. The only way he gets out now is with his dad's help. This bit is actually is actually murder for me. The council have said, haven't they, you could pay for a quicker assessment. Could you do that? Yeah, well, yeah, but why should we have to pay for a, a curb that everybody else is going to use? If it was for a private drive into, into my back garden or into my house, then yes, I don't mind paying it for, for me, but everybody's going to be using it, all the community. I'm outside James's house and I've decided to do a little tour of his neighbourhood just to see where the nearest drop curb is, so follow me. Most avenues ended in steps, except one, up a long hill which ended in the next close. So from what I could see, he's got no easy way out. He's only 21 years of age, he's got a life in front of him. And until I can see that he can get out himself, I can't get on with my life because you just can't do anything. It feels to me like it's stopping my life. You know, it's stopping me from living my life, from getting out to see friends, getting out to do anything really. James is hoping to train as a gym instructor for the disabled. But for now, his life's on hold. Kath Mackey, BBC Millers Today, Redditch. Well, the County Council has told us that they get an estimated 1,200 requests for dropped curbs each year. Apparently, you can pay £85 for an assessment by a private contractor. Although the curb would still have to be approved by the council, presumably you get the whole thing a little more quickly.